The Chinese are beating us in open source AI. To be clear, I do not mean that in the sense of treating them as enemies. When anyone contributes to open source, they're making a contribution to the world. I just mean we need some healthy competition that will fuel innovation that can be led by America. On January 20th, Chinese company DeepSeek released their advanced reasoning AI model called R1. Now it's become clear America is behind in open source. If you're not familiar with open source, it's when software, operating systems, and artificial intelligence are designed in a way where the inner workings are made completely available to the public and are released for free and are often made with a license that allows anyone who wants to to modify it, use it in their own way, and redistribute it. This democratizes technology so regular people can have access to it. This type of release also exposes security vulnerabilities quickly, which allows the community to fix them without corporate red tape and excuses from executives getting in the way of progress. I remember when the CrowdStrike incident happened and it took three days before they made a statement and when they did it was just a bunch of corporate doublespeak from executives. That's not how it works with open source when there's a problem. With open source, there's much more accountability and faster fixing because the community documents it, makes it public, and then gets together and fixes it. No excuses. Even before DeepSeek came out, there had been major advancements in open source AI from other Chinese makers like Quen and Minimax. The developers of DeepSeek R1 have improved the reinforcement learning system AIs use to learn how to think. I'll break this down in the most basic way. Imagine you have a robot and you're teaching it to clean its room. Every time it picks up a toy, you give it a gold star. But sometimes the robot gets confused and grabs the wrong thing, like a cat's tail, and you take a star away. Over time, it learns what gets it more stars and avoids mistakes. That's called reinforcement learning. Learning by getting rewards or punishments. Now, DeepSeek R1 is like a super smart robot that learns faster and better because it plans ahead. Instead of grabbing things randomly and hoping for stars, it thinks, if I pick up this toy, will I get a star? This makes it smarter about its choices. It remembers better, it doesn't forget what worked before, so it doesn't make the same mistake twice, and it learns from others. It can watch other robots, or AI models in this case, to clean its room and figure out the best tricks. Compared to other robots that just guess and hope for stars, DeepSeek R1 is way better at figuring out what to do to clean up faster and smarter. Now, let's focus on America for a minute. Say what you will about Mark Zuckerberg, but I believe criticism and credit are due when justified either way, regardless of the person. Meta formerly Facebook, upon Zuck's orders, made all of their AI models open source and has been doing so for the last two years. That's actually the way I got into using open source AI in the first place. It was by accidentally stumbling upon their early versions of their alpaca and llama models. At first, I had no idea Meta were the makers. I was just using it. I tested them and despite their flaws and wonkiness, saw this is still the beginning of something huge and amazing. I knew to zero in on it. I almost couldn't believe the text was being generated by an AI on my own CPU. I had to disconnect from the internet in disbelief and give it a prompt just to see if it would really give me a response without an internet connection. I knew from that moment this was the next big deal in technology. Eventually, Llama 2 came out and was far more advanced. It openly allowed anyone to modify it by fine-tuning it on different data sets. Llama 3 is out now, and it has surpassed my expectations. Llama 4 is currently being trained. Right now, Meta is leading the charge in open source AI, while other companies who are just as big have the resources to make advancements. Google, Apple, and Microsoft have made contributions to open source artificial intelligence that are of significance, but not of serious consequence. I would argue that if these businesses offer AI models free to the world that are open source, they can still make proprietary models and will still have bajillions of dollars. This would not only keep us competitive in global markets, it would also be good for our national security. It's very complicated, but we're almost in a cold war with China, and that's different from our friendly competitive atmosphere over training open source AI models. I really don't mean to pick on the makers because the people who made DeepSeek were really awesome. They gave out their white paper, their whole documentation, their weights, their model, everything, and they just shared it with the world. I give them so much credit for this. So I'm saying, come on, big tech, let's see some future.